We're here in Seattle for this NFC matchup between the Panthers and the Seahawks. We get matchups like this at times, Phil, when it's all about the quarterbacks, but in this case, it is rightfully so. Well, what do I tell you all the time? It's always about the quarterback. <laughs> right. Hey, but do you know, Jim, you get two of the best, they're playing well, and their systems really uh, accentuate what they can do. This is going to be fun to watch. Panthers ready to get the pigskin in the air. They're setting up return. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. First down here. Harvin's going to take the handoff now. Outside linebackers are just, they, they really are great athletes. They got size and they can really run. That was a good job by the outside linebacker there that time. Stopping the outside run for a little game. What a hit and the ball falls incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good, punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. The Panthers' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Third and ten. Going across the middle. And Harvin, with some nice hands, brings in the bullet pass. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. First and ten. That pass was heard. Offense lines up here. Russell Wilson out to Sidney Rice. Jim Nance, that was the old fly route. When we were kids, that's what they called it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw and catch. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Nickel formation for the defense here. Looking for Percy Harvin, and it's incomplete. They went for the deep throw, but the defensive back was there. Yeah, good job that time. I got to give the defensive back a lot of credit. He was not caught sleeping out there. He was alert, read the right keys, and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw. <laughs> Harvin's a receiver in the slot. Right where it touchdown, Seattle. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. The Seahawks lined up now for the point after. Driving extra point is good. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. Bringing the play to an end.
Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. First and ten. Williams going to secure the handoff. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense has got to be happy with that. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Play action. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. Williams is in the backfield. First and 10. D'Angelo Williams. He stacked up at that point. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time, they stopped that run just for a short game. And now they'll try over again on second down. Throws the pass. He's brought down. This play you see a lot in the NFL now. It's called a drag route. You're going across the field. Good job by the receiver. Outrunning the defensive back and a good throw by the quarterback. Third down on the way. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Looking to the right side and throwing. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a corner route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. Offense lines up here. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Easy catch there. No one near him. What was the defense doing that time on that fourth down try by the offense? Disorganized, not ready, and they give it up. Long gain sets them up here on this play. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Williams under pressure and incomplete. Second down coming up. Newton in shotgun formation. Throws to the right. And touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. The Panthers for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick.
Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And he's met head on right there at the 20. going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. To the ground here. And he'll go to the left. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. When you have a defense who's not playing good techniques, they're selling out, overplaying plays while you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Harvin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Third and four. Looking across the middle, intercepted. Good piece of tackling. Well, nowadays your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. They got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. Williams is in the backfield. Ten. He'll throw it over the middle. He had no time to get set. And here we have second down. Cam Newton unleashes the long pass. Panthers in for the score. Not many quarterbacks in this league can throw that type of pass. Throw it high in the air, far down the field, and have it just drop in there right on the target. Beautiful throw for the touchdown. Count it. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Catch signal. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The tackle was made. When you talk about the play-action pass game, it's really when you call it. you got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. Offense lines up here. Second down and 10. Quinton Michael picks off that pass. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. First and ten, handoff, trying to plow ahead. 
Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. We'll be back from Seattle for the start of the second after the break. The Panthers' offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. That ball was going the other way. That brings the play to an end. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Harvins in the slot. First down and 10. Searching for space to the right. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chains. The offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play. Throws it incomplete into double coverage. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. <laughs> Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Russell Wilson out to Sidney Rice. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. Let's see how they back up the big play here. And he's going to pitch it here. And that'll be a gain of about two. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short gain in the red zone. Second down. Getting sacked. Oh, my gosh. When you take those blindside hits, the first thing you think of as a quarterback when you get up, did somebody make a mistake or did I make the mistake not seeing that guy coming? Third and 16 here after the sack. That's an interception. That'll stop the play right there. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice catch. Williams is in the backfield. First and 10. Tackled at the 13th. 
What a good job by the defensive player there, just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Williams. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. Williams in the backfield, single back set. First and ten, run it again, trying the right side. Smith lined up in the slot. Newton's going to take it from the gun. Looking for Steve Smith. Interception. Nice tackle. I, well, I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. First down here. The quarterback will hand it off. Right side. Breaks free. Fights through that hit. Good run that time. It results in a first down and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Tire that defense out. Half time, two minutes away. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. The throw to the left makes the grab. Touchdown. Well, the offensive line did it all on this drive, didn't they? Here it is on first and goal. Nice job of pass blocking, and the quarterback finds the open receiver for the touchdown. Oh, it's a fake. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. He will run this one back. Lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Now first and ten. D'Angelo Williams. He'll go left. And they get to him at the 45. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it, to see a team that's has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs, resting their defense, and tiring out the opponent's defense.
First down here after the run. And they go back to the ground. That'll be another new set of downs after that pickup for a first. Anytime you see a defense that can't stop the runs right up the middle, there's a couple things. The middle linebacker's probably not doing his job, and you might not just have enough meat up inside to hold up against those big offensive linemen. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Second and one, and Williams has got it on the handoff. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you've got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you've got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football, that's how you stop long run. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion, and there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. William Stan picks up about three. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Second and goal to go from the one. And he's across for the touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts him ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Extra point is good. Panthers ready to get the big skin in the air. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. First down, offense readying for the snap. Ball is caught. Gains 11. The Seahawks are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. First down here after the completion. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. And Harvin with some nice hands. Brink, he's in the clear. The 20, the 10, and in for the touchdown. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Full the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. The Seahawks now to take the lead with the extra point. The point after try is in the books. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. Brought down at the 41-yard line.
First down coming up. Newton's going to take the snap from the shotgun. And he's going to be brought down. The quarterback's got to know when it's inside is two minutes and that clock is moving. You want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long. Gets the sack and that just kills uh, the time management. Cam Newton will take the snap out of the gun. Down the field. And they can't connect. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. One more snap in halftime. Going across the middle, under fire on that throw. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Looks like they're going to go for it here. A ton of defensive backs out here for this play. And now Cam Newton with the deep throw. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. So that's going to do it here for the first half. Seahawks are up here in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Seahawks lead by one. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. Guys, I get a chance to quickly speak with Bobby Wagner during halftime. His team has got the lead right now, and he told me it's up to the defense to make it stand up. He said, as a defense, you don't want to give up a lead, so we're going to come out and make plays to keep this lead. Seems simple enough, guys. I'll we'll send it back up to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Williams lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. To the right side. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. An off tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Second down and two to go after the running play. Williams handed the football and tackled down at the 43-yard line. you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Third and two, back to the ground. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Stewart lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Stewart's got it again. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. As they go ground here, slashes to the left side. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. See what they do on this third down situation. He's looking to the right here on this throw. It's third down at over 10 yards. You got to give your offensive line a lot of credit. They give the quarterback extra time, and he makes the throw down the field to pick up the first down. This play set up by the long gainer. Staying with the passing game on first down. The Panthers now move the chains. Well, when you get a couple first downs on a drive, it just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. 
It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. Here's the first snap after the big play. Handoff to Jonathan Stewart and gains about one. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. This will be second down. Jonathan Stewart with the football, and that picks up three. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Third and goal to go. Short run, and it's a touchdown. The fullback in most offenses in the NFL very seldom gets to carry the football, but down near the goal line, they serve a good purpose. Quick hitting plays by a big, powerful guy gets it done. Staying on the ground. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. Panthers ready to get the big skin in the air. He's got a chance to return this one. He steps out. The Seahawks at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. This is a screenplay all the way. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. They've got a first down now after that catch. They need to get the playoff. Looking to the right side and throwing. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Split backfield here. Wilson from the shotgun. Throwing now to his left. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. It's always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. Will go ground. It's now second down. Here's the quick toss. Jams it across the goal line for the touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting them ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Touchdown. Touchdown. 
three-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. He's got a chance to return this one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Offense lines up here. First and ten. And here's the throw. Cam Newton throws it down the field. And he's almost intercepted. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. We'll have one more play before the quarter expires. Second and ten. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Defense. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap count. minutes to go back after this word from your local station the Panthers have the football as the fourth quarter gets started that flag gives them a new set of downs final quarter underway now with this snap that pass was hers. Second down here. Newton's got it in the gun. Oh, almost caught. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage that time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. following the incompletion. Screen complete. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Wide receiver in motion. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Launches it down the field. This is going to set up a change of possession. I'll just say this, Jim. When you're a gambling football team, you're willing to go for it on fourth down, even though you're losing in the second half and you don't get it. You just got to deal with a little bit of adversity and hope your defense can go out there and stop the other team's offense. First down all the way. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Second down here after that run play. Throws to the right. He's wide open for the grab. Finds the sacred side. Touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense that time. Nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field, and hey, nice job by the quarterback. Going through his progression, he finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. 
Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Spins away from the hit. Breaks out of that one. And Williams is lined up as the single back. First and ten, setting up screen. Should have had it. You don't see it often in today's game. These clubs, these wide receivers wear. My gosh, anybody could catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. Williams is in the backfield. Second and ten. Getting away from the pressure. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And almost picked off. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the wide receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage. And there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Quarters formation here for the defense. Newton's back in shotgun formation. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Forces a three and out. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. The Panthers lined up. Everybody split out wide. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. I thought that was a pretty risky play that time by the offense. Even though it's the second half and you're down, you don't always have to go for it on fourth down. Fortunately for them, they got it that time. First and ten. Caught. He's brought to a halt. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. That short pass play picked up six. It's now second down and four. Incompletion on that hurry throw. The Panthers come to the line with an empty backfield. Third and four. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's his zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. Looking to the right side and throwing. That catch gives them a first down. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Reaches out and snatches it. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. Newton in shotgun formation. Throws to the right. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. Marching down the field and taking their time. Newton standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Brings it into his body. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. What a good job by the offense, driving down and getting that touchdown. Even though they're still behind, they're chipping away at this lead, keeping the pressure on their opponents. Let's go. Watch the blitz. Watch the blitz. Get press. Watch the blitz. 
They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Hand off to the back. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down, into the open flat, reaches out and grabs it. And picks up the first down. Well, the defense, they give up a first down there, they're behind, they just can't sit back there and keep bending. You gotta take some chances, go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. Late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. First and ten. Looking for Percy Harvin. Pulls it in. The Seahawks are in the end zone for the touchdown. How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there, and he gets the easy touchdown. Extra point is good. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. And Ted Ginn will get a chance here on the kickoff. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. First down. And a little screen set up here. Shrugs off the first hit. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. And he's taken down. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see when they don't have to blitz and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Newton's going to take it from the gun. Ball's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. in the backfield. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Going for the home run. He caught it. Touchdown. This game is tight. You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? Easy touchdown pass. Man, man, man. What's the man? Hey, he's man. I got him all day, all day. Lining up now for the two. Challenging the defenders to the right side. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. That play will be challenged by the booth upstairs inside of two minutes. Well, it was called one way on the field, but now inside of two minutes, it was a booth review and the call is overturned. I think if you left it up to the coaches, they'd like the, the booth 
to review them all, Jim, because put all the pressure on the officials in the NFL. That's what it's there for, to overturn bad calls on the field. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered.